Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss shortest path visiting all nodes problem. So let us understand what the problem says. So you are given a graph. You could start at like it's having nodes. You could start at any graph at any node. You could end at any node. You could visit any node mul multiple number of times and you have to tell like what would be the shortest length of the path visiting all the nodes. So for example, in our graph, the shortest length of the path would be 4. How? You could start from 1, you could go to 0, you could go to 2, then you could come back to 0 and then you could go to 3. So and now let us look at the constraints. So constraints are very low like the n is in range of 1 to 12. So it should give us an intuitive idea like we could use a bit masking kind of thing um, for storing the nodes visited. So basically the approach which I am following to solve it is using the multi node BFS along with the bit mask. So let me go through the code and explain along to help you understand. So what I am doing is like if let's say I am at a particular node and uh, so that so the cost or the length of the path would be zero like it would be already visit it would be visited by me in the zero zero length zero path length and then i would be inserting into a set likewise so as to like check i should not form like i should not fall into the cycle cyclic trap like you do the bfs from zero then you go to one then again you come back to zero so to avoid it i'm using this set um, of pair of integers like it's storing the uh, particular nodes which i have visited in the form of the bit mask in the node on which i am and then i'll iterate in my queue um, i'll keep popping the elements out of it and i'll check like the nodes covered bit mask value like if it's equal to like all the nodes if i have covered all the nodes then i would be returning this path length and how i am doing it like what does it mean so it means like 1 to the power n minus 1 so you must be knowing this 1 to the power n would be 2 to the power n and 2 to the power n minus 1 looks like n minus 1 times 1 so it would be like this and since your uh, initial node is 0 so it would uh, become like n n times 1 so yeah it will like uh, tell you like all the nodes are visited so in that case you would be returning your this path length and else case you would be visiting the neighbors and you would check like if that particular neighbor bit mask like in if including that particular neighbor your bit mask value and that neighbor is being into the set then you won't be visiting it, it you won't be pushing it into the queue so if it's not there in the set then you would be pushing it so you would be inserting into the set and then you would increase the path length and you would then push that neighbor into the queue and then you would go along with this process and like since the input graph is always connected you would always get a particular path length and um, I'm just returning zero here so as to like avoid this error coming up so like this error comes up like since there may be a scenario um, there may be a test case like for which the answer is not possible if the graph is not connected so for avoiding it uh, i'm returning zero and then yeah you could submit it like you could have a look at the code and if you have any problem then you could ask in the comment section i would more than happy to answer it and this question was asked to me in like the goldman sack coding test round so it's an important question and it's a very good concept and instead of like if this wasn't the case like if the edges were weighted then you try then you could use a priority queue instead of that instead of using the normal queue so thanks for watching